Charles Davis beyond thrilled to be bringing you the Super Bowl. All the pomp, all the circumstance, all the pageantry. It doesn't get any better than this, partner. I'm loving sharing this booth with you, sharing this moment, this type of a game. For all the teachers who said we'd never make it, we're here. <laughs> and we talk these last couple of weeks about the buildup, the anticipation. I think these guys are just ready to get out there and get this thing started. And I know that both coaching staffs have spent considerable time trying to figure out how to best bring their team up to a peak without taking them over the edge and causing a lot of issues early in the game. And you don't think much of a pregame speech is needed for this one. I think the pregame speeches were the shortest all year. If they didn't just say, let's go get them, guys, they probably talked too much. Nowhere to go that time. Might have gotten a yard up to the 25. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. the play fake. He'll look to throw. He'll buy some time right. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off by Casey Hayward. And his guys are going to get the football at their own 47-yard line. And maybe he telegraphed it a little bit right there. You've got a cornerback knowing that he's going against a rookie quarterback. He stepped in and picked it. You think he had a great week of preparation looking forward to this opportunity? And the second part of that is when you're a young quarterback, you are going to stare down targets, but oftentimes your playbook hasn't expanded to give you full field reads as well. Makes it a little bit tougher for him. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. And now some motion before the snap. And this will be our first penalty of the night's proceedings. The first start backs him up five, first and 15. Following the penalty, it's Johnson. And he's going to be brought down at about the 33-yard line. And now time is called as we've got an injured charger down there on the field. We'll get an update when we come back to Miami. Georgia Southern man, it's Matt Breda. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. That one good for 13 and a charger first. But well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, with that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front and linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense because someone's going to run for some big yardage. Now a play fake here on first down. Oh, he had six points in his hands there. Couldn't hang on. Second down. Once you get into the red zone and the safeties have less ground to cover, you'd better be quick with your delivery. Not much space to get a ball in there. Yeah, and when that field shrinks with those safeties, it's almost like there's a couple extra defenders out there, right? It certainly is. They end up taking up extra space just because there's not enough space for receivers to run through. On second down, Johnson. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. 
And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends, they're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. So a third and 10, and defensively, a dime look, six DBs. Back to throw, gone. Screen play, Johnson. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially those pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. Out of the gun, gone. That is caught at the seven yard line. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. With the first touchdown of this Super Bowl, and the Chargers have taken a first quarter lead. Well, these guys have won three straight ball games and another good start to this one out to the 6-0 lead. And I've talked with so many different coaches, as have you along the way, and they always talk about winning streaks and the mood of a team and how much easier it is to actually prepare during that time. Guys are sharp, guys are focused, everyone's feeling good, and we're seeing it early in this one. The punter Kayser now out to kick it away. This will be taken in at the one. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. Now the Rams offense, they work their way back on the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care right, of it, but you have to be Go careful about it. being too cautious Go because now you can't run any offense at all. Don't want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Sliding out of the pocket. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. Before the game, they were running the route tree about as efficiently and effectively as we could have possibly imagined, but sometimes the passes just go awry. Yeah, let's face it. When you're running the route tree in pregame, you don't have defenders breathing down your neck. You don't have defensive backs making plays on the football. Hard to replicate the intensity of the game in pregame. Action fake. They'll look to throw. Rolling to his right. Open man right side is cut. Complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Give him 30 yards there. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. On first down, it's Gurley. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. Let's go! Green! They're going to look to throw. Steps away. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. It's a gain of six on the play, and all of a sudden here, it's third down. Try and pick up the first with Gurley. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. 
Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. They go play action here on first down. They'll roll him out right. Now he's going to throw. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, L.A. Gerald Everett, 34 yards. And the Rams are an extra point away from tying up this football game. Point after up and good. And we are tied at seven. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Chargers offense gets set. They head back onto the field. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points... It's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Now golf on first down. Dumping it off for Johnson. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. Back now to begin the second quarter with Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon. It's the Chargers here with a football. But they face a second and long to start things out. time pitch and catch right there and partner I remember the days when quarterbacks would try this they were holding their breath but nowadays they're counting on their receiver to be just a little bit better than the defensive back when it's one-on-one -on -one and the ball's in the air like that on first and ten gone throws left side complete to Keenan Allen another big gainer that time this one goes for 19 yards if you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. Golf on first down. And his throw is incomplete. They were trying to go back to Allen there, and it's second down. And it is true. You can draft the fastest. You can draft the most athletic guys. But if they don't know the art of positioning, sometimes it's all for naught. In this case, in the right spot, help force the incompletion. Yeah, but had his hands on it for a second. Would have been a tough catch, though. Falls incomplete. to the air. Goff on second down. Oh, he's got a man wide open. Complete. His first catch of this Super Bowl and it'll be good for a first down. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. Go, 
On first down, it's gone. And this is complete. It's Allen. That throw good for four. It's second down. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Super. Shell. Shell. They'll run it now out of the gun. So he got three of one tackle but couldn't do a whole lot else. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. They'll try and run for it. Here's Johnson. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. I like this focus there because he wasn't thinking about breaking that one big. All he thought about was, I need one. Let's go get that. Ended up picking up two. Super 66. They'll run it with Johnson. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. They're right there at the one. No gain, but don't let that stop you. Line back up and keep going at them. If I'm them, I'm thinking about going at it four straight times. And Johnson on an island by himself in the backfield. Second and goal. Forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Third and goal. This L.A. Rams defense will try to bow up once more. He'll try to run it in. Johnson. And he will get in across the chalk for a Chargers touchdown. David Johnson. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Chargers are able to strike for six. Sturgis for the extra point. And that makes the score 14 to 7. The punter Kayser now out to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Rams offense now, they get set and head back onto the field. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense getting the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. Back to throw. Rolling to his left. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Call it a pickup of seven, and that'll bring up second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. All right, here we go. He'll look to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. A good decision in the end to pull it and run. Get some nine yards in a first. Certainly making his presence felt in both the pass and the run game. He's having an impact. Yeah, and his first carry of the game right there. He had hurt him with his arm. Now he's showing that he can shuffle the puppies as well. Now let's go! 
Back to throw now on first down. And the open receiver is Robert Woods. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 23 yards on the play. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Two minutes to go here in the first half. We'll come back on Super Bowl Sunday after this. On first down, he'll drop to throw, and he'll set up the screen to Gurley. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And nearly picked off there. Almost intercepted. Instead, second down. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit. But only the second yeah, quarter, a lot of time to change things. Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. And now the Chargers are going to signal for another timeout as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Flushed out right. And he's going to go down. Sacked back at the 13-yard line. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. As they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So now the Rams send out the field goal team here. This one is right through. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So they've put together a good little drive there, but ultimately stalling out in the red zone. Yeah, I know a lot of people look at it as a little bit of a negative. They didn't get six points out of it, right? Didn't get the touchdown. But that's actually okay. They got three points. It will give their defense a little bit of rest, let them settle down over there. So all in all to me, that's a good drive. Dances by him. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. The Chargers getting set to go. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. On first down, gone. Wide open receiver complete. That goes for a gain of 31. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. A first down carry here for Johnson. And he'll be brought down just outside of the 30. And now the Rams are going to halt things as they want a timeout. As they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Here 
Here's Goff now on second down. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Tremendous field position there and a perfect time to do exactly what they did. Take a shot at the end zone. And they went for the big play, just unable to complete it. The Chargers on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. Here it's third and two. From the gun, here's gone. And that is incomplete. Perhaps they overthought this one a little bit. They've been running it real well on this drive, and it was third and short, okay? They decided to throw the football incomplete. Yeah, they might have thought just a little bit too hard about that play selection. And Sturgis able to knock it through. And that moves him up by a touchdown now at 17-10. So a good snap, good hold, and right down the middle. Never in doubt. Just the way you used to hit him, partner. You mean like uh, kicking the ball? Exactly. Well, that was a high school. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't care what level. You hit them, they go through. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10. Let's go! 319! 319! Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. He'll buy some time right. He's got his man on the crossing route. And he'll get this one down near the 20 yard line, just shy of the 20. And the young buck showing that ability, that agility to dance outside of the pocket, complete the deep ball. And don't think for a second that the coaching staff didn't have their heart rate accelerate a little bit there, right? Anytime you have those young quarterbacks and they get outside of the pocket, you're just hoping that they make good decisions because so many things can happen that can go wrong when you throw it downfield like that. He got away with it there and in a big way. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. Now a play fake here on first down. This is caught. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown Rams. Robert Woods, a 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Rams are an extra point away from tying up this football game. Extra point attempt to come here. Point after, right down the middle. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. This will be taken in at the one. And an alley to run. He's at the 40. The 20, 10, and all the way in for a Charger touchdown. A great play there. 99 yards. And the Chargers are going to take the lead. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge him. Kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam, and he got a full head of steam there. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Rams offense now making their way out to take over. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you've got to figure 
if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it out to his left. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Give him eight on the play, and it'll make it a second down. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Gone, gone! Gone, gone! Ah! On play action, they'll throw. Sliding out of the pocket. Going up top for Cobb. And that's caught inside the 35. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. And that one results in 35 yards. the play fake. He'll look to throw. Rolling to his right. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. He was true on his first, this a tough one, from 49 yards away. And this one is right down Broadway. So we've reached halftime here in the 2020 Super Bowl, Super Bowl 54. As we send you up to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Out comes the Chargers as they'll go on offense now to start this third quarter. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies, try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. Let's see if they do just that. 14. Now a first down throw, gone. Complete, it's Henry. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. A gain of six there on first. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Now a tenth carry for Johnson. Look at the dance and the juke! And he just falls short down at the one-yard line. A big run there by Johnson. 68 yards. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. Now gone. He finds his receiver, Williams, for a Charger touchdown. In for the score. And the Chargers are going to add on to their lead. Now Sturgis on to add the extra point. Sturgis adds the PAT, and that pushes the lead up to 11. The punter Kayser now out to kick it away. On the return, it's Farrow Cooper. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. Out come the Rams. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. They trail offense. First time to touch the ball in quarter three. And we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned. Because some teams script to start a half. 
other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. And this defense not giving them anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. fake. They'll look to throw. On the move to his left. And he'll avoid the tackle there with a slide. Give him seven there on the tuck and run and they're in better shape now for third. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They're going to look to throw. And the third down pass falls incomplete. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. Boy, a call like this, certainly tougher to make in a Super Bowl, but they'll go for it on fourth down. They're going to try and throw. Look at a shot for Woods, and it's intercepted. And now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. And this is recovered by the Chargers. Trying to get it to Woods. Here's gone. Throw right side, complete to Williams. And he gets this inside the 35 yard line. That one good for 13 and a Charger first. Goff now 11 to 15 through the air. Here's first and 10. They'll hand it off now. Johnson. And he works free. And he'll get down to about the 26-yard line. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards. And it's second and two. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Again, it's Johnson. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, put a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. from what we hear from coaches all the time, right? And how much they practice not fumbling. Practice it, preach it, talk about it all the time. You would think no one would ever turn it over. Yet they are humans out there running around. And we just saw another one. Opportunistic by the defense. Hurry up, here we go. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Airing it out deep for Woods. 
And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on it at second down. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. And now he'll tuck it and run. And he'll slide down to avoid the contact. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Sometimes guys get locked into such a groove. What do we call it? The game's slowing down. They see everything happening almost in slow motion. They see the lanes develop. I feel like he's right there. Well, and you want this from your leader, right? With this deficit, this stage of the game, second half. No quit in him. Zero. They go play action here on first down. Steps away to his left. And he'll slide down to avoid the tackle. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Containing him is becoming a big problem. We've already seen this once earlier on this drive. Yeah, and so now two times this has happened. Do you adjust something? Yeah, I think you do. I think you have to start thinking about your rush lanes. Try not to either get too wide or too narrow. Make sure someone is there waiting for him to take off. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 45-yard line. All right, here we go. They'll look to throw. They'll roll him out right. Right side complete. That's Woods. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. That goes for a gain of 31. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. Set. Green. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And he's going to be taken down. They sack him on what will be the final play of quarter number three. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Rams trailing, but they do have the football as we start the fourth and final quarter. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? They'll step off the five yards. Yeah, partner, you know. Defensive end, he wants to get into the offensive backfield. He wants that get off to be as fast as possible. A little too quick on that one. Here we go now. Now back to throw. He'll buy some time right. And he can't corral it. Maybe a big missed opportunity there defensively in the end zone. And now third down. Pretty lucky to get the football back. Had his target out there waving the arms, saying I'm open, but maybe didn't see him quick enough. And I know the jokes are always about defensive back's hands. What really actually happens, you don't get many opportunities. You get over anxious, and you start to think about taking it away and going the other way instead of focusing and catching the ball. They go with a shuffle pass, and it's complete. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Call it a one-yard gain on the play, and it'll be fourth down. So now the field goal unit trots out there for the third time tonight. From the right hash, just a 34-yard attempt. And his kick is good. And the drive will wind up yielding three. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. This is T.J. Logan to return it. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Chargers offense now, they get set to head back on the field. Now, last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. you got to protect the football. So, in other words, someone got lucky because <laughs> they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case, though, giving up the football, 
doesn't make them very happy. They can't wait to get back out there and atone for it. Yeah, try to atone for it here on this drive. taking care of the football. to throw. Sliding out of the pocket. He's going to let it go deep for the... And he's got it! That's cut for a Ram touchdown! As his guys are in for six. And the Rams are now just a two-point conversion away from tying this thing up. Well, that didn't take long. The turnover instantly almost turning into points. And when that happens, a lot of teams have the mentality of let's strike right now. You've got them off balance after the turnover or the takeaway. Let's go get it. And that's exactly what they did. It took them an extra look, but they found out it is a touchdown indeed. The official says this one counts. All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. Taken down, sacked back at the five-yard line. So the lead shaved to two now as the kickoff is away. This one taken from the seventh. Stops here with a penalty marker on the field. I'm not sure what this is about. Trailing in the fourth this close of a game, that's a penalty you just can't afford. It's an absolute killer, and it's one that drives coaches and teammates insane. So the face mask puts them in even better shape than they were in as they'll have a short field here on first and ten. Now a handoff, Johnson. Oh, and now he bowls him over. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a charger first. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. First down, it's gone. Henry's got it out on the left side. And they'll get this down to the 10. A solid pickup of 13 sets him up first and goal. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it. They got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try and loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. They'll try to run. This is Johnson. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and it'll be second and goal. to him up the middle. 
It'll be a gain of four, but it'll bring us now to a third and goal. Now the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. The busy night continues for Johnson. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Give him four yards there, but they're still well short of the goal line with fourth down now looming. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This a chip shot, a 20-yarder. And Sturgis able to knock it through. And that will push the lead up to five. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, it's a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there... Those would be big half-moon grins right now because they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. Well, and a touchdown in the other direction. All of a sudden, they're down. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. to perhaps crown a champion after this. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. Now a handoff for Gurley. And he'll bring this one inside the 35. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. He'll look to throw. They'll roll him out right. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. He was looking for Cooper Cup there, and it's third and short. The way he's throwing the football today, almost a surprise when he doesn't complete a pass like having there, but he needs a few more to get his guys downfield. Well, the way he's thrown it leads him to believe that he's going to get those completions. And that means the guys going out for passes, they'll run even harder because they expect it as well. six-yard line. Well, now the Chargers are going to look up here and signal for a timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Productive. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. The Rams on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. Here it's third and three. Let's go. 
Now they'll pitch it back to Gurley. And they'll get him down here at about the five-yard line. And now the Chargers are going to signal for another timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. What a Super Bowl this has been, and the biggest play comes now. It's fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And they're going to try the screen. It's complete. And he's not even going to come close. A big loss in the wrong direction on fourth down. So they've gone for it twice now on fourth down of this game, and both times unsuccessful. I wish we could hear the headsets now between the head coach and the offensive coordinator. Now that they're 0 for 2, if they get into a third situation, head coach might say, hey, you got anything for this one? Might get radio silence back. <laughs> Throwing now, golf, going up top. He's got him in, complete. He's at the 30, 20. And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. And that touchdown should make you feel comfortable. But do you really feel like it's totally over yet? Not totally, but I think you're pretty much there. Yeah, you still got to make sure you stay with it, do all the right things down the stretch, especially on defense. But that touchdown there, you got to feel good about your chances. The punter, Kayser, now out to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. And the Rams getting set to go now. Now a play fake here on first down. Steps away. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. Second and 14 as they've got work to do here after the sack. Looking to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. That'll be incomplete with nine seconds now showing on the clock. Woods, the intended receiver, at its third down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. The Rams on third down. Just one for five to this point. This is third and 14. They'll drop the throw. He's going to let it fly. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. The Red Sea parts, and there he goes. Touchdown, LA. A big play there. 79 yards. And the Rams are able to get back within a touchdown. No, we're not cheering. No, we're not rooting. But I am excited about this. And I know you are, too. We got a ball game again after that big-time strike. Big-time strike, and you are right. Don't go anywhere yet. This thing's not done. Extra point right down the middle. And that will shave one more off this lead. And the Bolts have done it. The Los Angeles Chargers are the Super Bowl champions. And to the Super Bowl champions, they etch their name forever in NFL immortality. That's pretty phenomenal right there. It actually gave me chills just to hear you <laughs> say that because immortality forever and ever. When you look in the record books, you'll see this team, you'll see their picture, that your name will be a part of it. That's got to be an incredible feeling because it's been a long journey to get there, and now they get a chance to enjoy it.
And they end this year just how everybody wants to end the year, holding the Lombardi Trophy. What a season for them. What a ride it's been for us as well here in the booth. For Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gunn. Thanks for watching, everybody. We will see you next season right here on EA Sports.